What is up guys? It's Evil Duosarm here today, back with another Black Desert video. Today's video is the continuation and completion part three of the alchemy guide we've been working on. So if you missed parts one and two, be sure to check those out on the channel. It will take you to this point. But basically what we're doing is we are crafting elixirs of demi-human hunt in order to raise our alchemy skill from beginner one up to artisan one. So real quick, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or enjoy the content on the channel, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me and would help to grow the channel. Without further ado, let's get into it and let's get started with a couple of things that people have brought up in the comment section of the videos. The first one is that, yes, the shy starts at Professional One Alchemy. So if you are intending on doing alchemy and that's all you want to do on the character, shy would be an excellent choice for you. It will allow you to make significantly less potions than you see in this video series. And the other thing I want to point out is that the Xbox and PlayStation markets are significantly different from the PC market that you see me purchasing stuff on or anything like that. So if you are on the Xbox or PlayStation, you will need to look in a little bit more depth into things that are profitable for you. This really only works for the PC. Um, but if you're following this guide, you have to follow the same exact principles that I've taught you in parts one and two of this video series in order to make money on the PlayStation and Xbox. And people in the comment section have been saying that if they actually followed the guide and figured out how to do things, that they are making insane amounts of money like hundreds of millions of profit off of their stuff. So really, the Xbox and PS4 markets, even though this exact recipe doesn't apply to you, there are other recipes that will help you to make money. Anyway, without further ado, further intro, further rippity yappity, let's get into it, and let's actually start with the next portion of the video series. One awesome thing that I want to point out is that BDO Day is back up and online. They fixed their issues that they were having before when I started this. So the link to this recipe that we're working through, the Elixir of Demi-Human Hunt, will be in the description below. But this website is amazing. Whenever you're looking up any recipes or anything like that, check this website out for cooking as well as alchemy processing. All of the different craftings that you can do in Black Desert has the recipe for everything. So I'll link the Elixir of Demi-Human Hunt. Basically, you could type in the cost of everything, say the profitability of it at the end. It's, it's fantastic. It really is amazing. Anyway, so next in our chain that we need to do is we need to make Sinner's Blood before we can finally make the Elixirs of Demi-Human Hunt. So we already have the purified waters that we turned into a clear liquid reagent that we did in the last video. The next thing we need are Powder of Flames and Bloody Tree Knots. And on the PC Marketplace, there are literally almost 5 million Powders of Flames, so you shouldn't have any issues with that. Likewise with Bloody Tree Knots, there's also a bunch of these, and these come up all the time, so you can just go ahead and purchase these. We're just going to buy both of these off of the marketplace. They're a lot easier to obtain than going around and cutting down trees or farming through nodes. However, the one that is a bit more difficult to obtain is going to be the farm blood group. So you got like sheep blood, deer blood, those are the two easiest ones to get. Since the location that we do the majority of our stuff is in Heidel, I am going to keep us at the closest location to Heidel where you can get this blood, and it is Lynch Ranch, which is on top of this beautiful mountain up here. So on top of Lynch Ranch, there are a ton of sheep. So once again, relative location to Heidel. If sheep are not your thing and you want to get more blood per amount of time invested, you're going to want to head down to the south of Bear, which is right down here. There's a literal like army of deer hanging out in this forest. So you can kill the deer and get their blood there. But whichever one you choose to do, the process is exactly the same. And yes, you get less blood every time you gather from a sheep than if you were to gather from a deer. I'm just picking this because of its proximity to Heidel. Anyway, in order to get to Artisan 1, you're going to need a total of 3,222 bloods, so go ahead and start killing these guys. In order to get blood, you need a fluid extractor. Fluid extractors can be purchased from the materials vendor located anywhere. If you go to the Logia farm, you can purchase the Logia fluid extractor from this lady right here, Camilla Logia. So the Logia fluid extractor has a 30% gathering item drop rate increase, which is pretty cool, especially if you're trying to gather the things. After you hit Skilled 5, though, for your gathering stat, Skilled 5 on your gathering stat, Stop using the Logia Fluid Collector or any Fluid Collector that you got. Go into the Central Marketplace and type in Magic Fluid Collector. These suckers are always on the market and they're always relatively cheap. They have 250 uses and they basically set your gathering stat to 600. No, they don't physically set it to 600 in the gathering stat menu, but they give you equivalent amounts of drop rates as though you had 600 gathering mastery. This bonus that this gives you overwrites any of your other mastery gear, so if you have a bunch of gathering gear, and it puts you over the 600 mark, do not use the Magic Fluid Collector. But anyway, this Magic Fluid Collector is a huge time save, and we're going to get a ton of use out of these, so buy like several of them. You're going to need them. At any rate, after you have your Fluid Extractor, any other gathering gear that you have, like Logia Gathering Accessories that you see right here, the Logia Rings, Necklace, Belt, or I actually have Logia Gathering Clothes, if you have any other gathering gear, throw it on and start killing sheep on top of this mountain, or I guess they're goats. But when you kill the goat and click on the Gather button to gather from them, you will get sheep blood. Once again, we're going to need 3,000, a little over 3,000 of these, so you're going to be up here for probably about an hour and a half, two hours. 
I'm only gonna gather up 200 of them so I can craft another 100 center bloods for the video. So I'm editing this video right now and realized that the gathering bit might be a little confusing. Basically different gathering gear items that you can buy, so rings, earrings, belt, necklace, as well as clothing, and the actual gathering item itself, all give you bonuses to this mastery stat. As you improve the mastery stat located on the life skill tab, you will see like right now my gathering is 225 base mastery, and for fluid collecting it's 858. So as you increase this mastery stat, you get an increase to the amount of items you get whenever you loot something, as well as the rarity and chances to proc rare items of things that you get whenever you gather from an enemy or if anything, any of the gathering that you do. I'm gonna put a whole separate guide that's totally fully detailed in all of this gathering and how you can make money with gathering, so stay tuned for that. But your TLDR here is literally get your gathering skill to skilled five by gathering this blood up here, it doesn't really matter. And once you hit skilled five, go ahead and buy that magic fluid extractor because it's gonna be all you need for the purposes of alchemy for quite a while. So once again, magic fluid extractor. But anyway, stop watching this and start gathering blood. Gosh, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so we're back in Heidel. We've collected our blood that we need. I just need to go ahead and buy bloody tree knots and I need 100 of these because I'm crafting 100 of these sinner's bloods. So I'll just type in 100, purchase those. And then if I go ahead and pick up the flame powders, powder of flames, I also need another 100 of these to make 100 center blood, so go ahead and buy those. If you remember, we made the clear liquid reagents already, so they're already in my storage. If I go into my house that I have created for alchemy purposes, go to that storage box that we told you to install back at the start of the series, grab our clear liquid reagents out of here, we need 100 of those. Go back to the central marketplace because you're done, can't say that word, because your idiot self forgot to take the items out of your storage, so make sure to grab your 100 bloody tree knots as well as your 100 powders of flame and put those into your inventory. And we are now ready to complete the recipe. So you were gonna need a total of 100 powders of flame, 100 bloody tree knots, 100 clear liquid reagents, and 200 sheep or deer blood, whichever one you chose to gather. So anyway, go up to your alchemy tool that you picked up from the general goods vendor, like we picked up a bunch of these at the start of the series. Go ahead and click your sheep blood, put in two or deer blood, sheep or deer blood, whichever one, one clear liquid reagent, one bloody tree knot, and one powder of flame. So two bloods, one liquid reagent, one tree knot, one powder of flame. Click create, your guy will make the recipe here. And as you can see, Sinner's Blood has successfully been created. Go ahead and press on your alchemy tool, click on the learned only tab this time, go down to the Sinner's Blood, which should be about midway through your page, click select for the most recent one that we just did, hit batch produce, hit confirm, type in maximum quantity and hit okay. And you will now make the remainder of the Sinner's Bloods that we were supposed to make for this video. So I'm setting out to make 100 and with the two and a half rule, we should make about 250. So I'll see you when my guy's done making them. All right, so we have finished this. We are at 266, so right about that two and a half. We set out to make 100 Sinner's Bloods. We got 266, which is about two and a half times increase. So now we need to make our final recipe move, which to complete the Elixir of Demi-Human Hunt, we need three Blackstone Powders, four Fur Saps, and four Arrow Mushrooms. So two of these items we're just gonna buy off of the marketplace. If we go ahead and type in black stone powder, you will see that it's relatively cheap and there's a bunch of these listed on the market. If there are none of these listed on the market, you take a black stone armor or black stone weapon, take it to the grinding wheel and grind it. I'm gonna be setting out to make another 100 potions here, elixirs of demi-human hunt. So I'm gonna need 300 of these since you need three black stone powders per craft. So I'm gonna buy 300 of these off of the marketplace. The next item on the list is the arrow mushroom. So arrow mushroom, type that into the search. There are a ton of these on the marketplace as well. They are relatively cheap and there's a bunch of them on stock as well, but you need four for every single craft. So if I'm doing a hundred, I need 400 arrow mushrooms. So I'll just go ahead and buy those. The final item is fur sap and on the marketplace, fur sap is relatively cheap. If we type in fur sap, it's at 1240. However, there's zero in stock, which means we're gonna have to go and gather these suckers and you need four per craft. So we're gonna need 400 of them. So let's go show you where to get fur sap. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the never ending road of fir trees. So this location is just to the right of the Western Guard Camp and it is the entirety of this road. Fir trees look like this. This is a fir tree. 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 So whenever you find one that hasn't been tapped by somebody else in the last several minutes, if you step up to it and press R with your fluid collector equipped, so same thing we use to gather the blood, you will get fur sap. So to make a hundred of the Demi-Human Hunt recipes, we need 400 fur sap. So I'll meet you back at Heidel when we're done collecting this. But once again, the location on the map, Western Guard Camp, we are in the trees to the right of the Western Guard Camp. Velio is right here, Heidel is down here. I'm trying to pick locations that are all close to Heidel in order to complete this. 
So anyway, once again, I'll meet you back at Hilo when we're done. So once again, we are back at our house and we have the Sinner's Bloods that we just crafted. We have 400 First Sap. We have 300 Blackstone Powders. And we have 400 of these Arrow Mushrooms in our inventory. So go on up to your Alchemy Tool. Click on the Arrow Mushrooms. Type in 4. Click on the First Sap. Type in 4. Click on the Blackstone Powder. Type in 3. And click on the Sinner's Blood and type in 1. You only need one of those. So the recipe, once again, four arrows, mushrooms, four first apps, three blackstone powders, and one sinner's blood. Click on create, and this will make one of these. And we now have successfully completed the elixir of demi-human hunt. Go back onto this alchemy tab, click on the learned only. At the bottom of your list, you will have elixir of demi-human hunt. Click on the very first option at the top. It will copy the recipe. Click batch produce. Yes, 99 should autofill if you're continuing the series right in line. If not, check maximum quantity and go ahead and make the remaining 99 of these. And once again, following the infamous two and a half rule, we have produced 272 elixirs of demi-human hunt. So just over two and a half times the initial 100 we set out to make. Now, in addition to the green rarity potions that we were targeting to create, you're also gonna get some blue ones. So this is the fierce demi-human hunting elixir. So let me show you how this works. What we're gonna do is we're gonna box these up for Imperial Alchemy. If you press the L key on the keyboard, navigate to the Imperial Alchemy tab, Click on the green potions in your inventory and hit start. It will craft an elixir of demi-human hunt box. Crafting this box is going to take 18 potions. So I'll stop it as soon as it does one. Okay, we did one. So we went from 272 to 254. 18 potions less, right? If we go ahead and craft the same exact box using the blue potions instead, it's only going to use six. Basically, if you use a blue potion, it uses one third of the total number of potions that it normally would. So we're at 41 and we dropped to 35 after we crafted that. So we're down to 35, but we got another box. Basically, these are potions that drop at a random percentage while you're crafting the main one, and they're just additional income on top of whatever you would normally get when you're doing the crafting. So these are pretty cool. They'll boost the total number of alchemy boxes you can make and let you make more money. After you've completed those alchemy boxes, the location of the trader is down over here. But basically, if you go down to where the stable keeper is in the southern part of Heidel, so the bottom of Heidel, that stable keeper, walk around the corner, you will see the Imperial Crafting Delivery person. It is Passbinder. Go ahead and click on them, Imperial Crafting, and just click Sell on your boxes. So I've already exceeded my daily sale limit, so I can't sell anymore. But basically, that's it. Turn those in, make your profit, and cash out. Repeat this process until you've gone through and made about 10,000 of these green elixirs of Demi-Human Hunt. Trade them all in, make your money back, process a little bit of extra profit, and you will be Artisan 1 with your Alchemy stat. Anyway, guys, I do hope this video series was helpful. It was super long. It's probably the longest video series I have ever made on my channel, aside from the UE2D side-scroller tutorial series. If you wanted to learn how to code in Unreal Engine 4, check it out. Anyway, um, so I do hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, anything you want to bring up, let me know in the comment section below. I really, really wanted to make this like in-depth, thorough, and show you how to make money doing Alchemy. If you did like the video series, make sure to leave a like. Let me know what you think in the comment section and make sure you're subscribed once again so you stay updated when new content comes out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you at the next stream, video, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.